For your mercies never fail me All my days I be held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will see Of the goodness of God Hallelujah. I welcome you all, beloved in Christ. Hallelujah be to Jesus. You are all welcome. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in your heart. Hallelujah. Wherever you are connecting this broadcast from, I want you to say, God, I thank you once again. You have done it once again. You have given me the grace to see a new day. You have given me the privilege to live. Lord, I thank you once again. Open your mouth and thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank God for giving you the grace to see a new day, a new beginning, a new life. Everything is new. Give thanks to God. Many were the plans of the devil against you, but God has delivered you out of all, out of all the folly that the devil threw yesterday night, out of the battles that you fought in your dream, the millions of battles that you fought, you are still alive. Many fight in dream and they wake up physically paralyzed. Many have an encounter, a terrible an encounter in a dream, and they wake up, ending up partially paralyzed. You've been fighting all this while. You are still alive. Say, God, I thank you for this grace. Say, Lord, I thank you for this strength. Say, Father, I give you all the praises. Say, Father, I bless you. I thank you for everything that you have been doing in my life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career. Everything, Father, it is you. I glorify you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. The word of God says, if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar. Then the truth is not in us. But if you confess our sins, he is faithful and just and righteous to forgive us. We are praying to God anything that we have done, knowingly or unknowingly, Father, forgive me. Open your mouth and say, Lord God Almighty, anything that I have done, knowingly or unknowingly, I cry unto you, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Anything that I have done against you, or I have done against a sister, done against a brother, knowingly or unknowingly, I cry to you, forgive me. I cry to you, forgive me. I cry to you, forgive my sons, forgive my daughters, forgive my family, anybody that have offended you, Lord, anybody that have sinned against you, sinned against you, Lord God Almighty, forgive us. Forgive us, forgive us in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. The word of God says if somebody is in Christ, that person is a new creature. He said, Behold, all the old things are past, all things are new. We need the strength to walk in the new ways. We need the Holy Spirit to baptize us to strengthen us on daily basis in our journey with Christ. In our journey with God, we need the Spirit of God to lead us. We need the Spirit of God to strengthen us. We need the Spirit of God to teach us. We need the Spirit of God to, to enlighten us, to illuminate us when we are in darkness. Pray the Lord God Almighty, I receive you into my life. I receive your light into me. 
I receive your fire in me. Let your fire activate every fire that is quenched. Let your fire ignite every fire that is quenched in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I receive you into my life, Holy Spirit. Say, I receive you into my life, Holy Spirit. Say, come into my heart. Say, come into my heart. Say, come into my heart. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Holy Spirit, come into my son's life, my daughter's life, my husband's life, my parent's life. Come into my home. As you visited the house of Cornelius, visit my house this evening. Open your mouth and pray to God. As you visited the house of Cornelius, visit my house this evening. As you visited the house of Cornelius, Father, visit my home. Visit my life. Visit me, O oh Lord. I receive divine visitation this evening, this morning, this afternoon, this moment. Divine visitation, O oh Lord. Divine visitation, O oh Lord. An encounter that will bring illumination into our life. An encounter that will cause your light to shine for us. We declare, Lord, we receive it now. We receive your fire. We receive your fire. We receive strength. We receive power. We receive power. We receive strength. We receive power. We receive strength. We receive divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Every realms of our life. Let your light shine. Let your light shine. Every realms of my life. Father, I receive illumination. Father, I receive illumination. Every darkness covering every realms of my life. Let there be light. 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 Say, Lord God Almighty. Every spirit of weakness. That want to take over my life. To kill my prayer life. Every power of weakness. That want to weaken my prayer life. That want to quench my prayer. That want to quench the fire in me. Let that weakness. Let that weakness be broken out. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Say every weakness. That want to weaken me. That want to overcome me. Every spirit of weakness. That want to humble me. That want to break me down. That want to block my prayer life. That want to break me into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that weakness catch fire now. Let that weakness catch fire now. Let that weakness catch fire now. Say, Lord God Almighty, let the yoke of weakness, <laughs> the yoke of weakness, the yoke of prayerlessness, let that yoke be broken. Let that yoke be broken. Open your mouth and declare, My Father, my Father, let the yoke of weakness, physical weakness, spiritual weakness, let that yoke be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let that yoke be broken now. The yoke of physical weakness. The yoke of physical weakness. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. It be broken. Say, my father, my father. As I open my mouth to pray, activate my prayer life. Activate my prayer life. Activate my prayer life. Resurrect my prayer life again. Resurrect my prayer life again. Anything dead in me, Lord, as I open my mouth to pray, let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. As I open my mouth to pray, anything dead in me, let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Whatever that is dead in me, whatever that is dead in me, let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Let my prayer life, my God, be resurrected. Be resurrected. Be resurrected. Say, let everything dead in me open your mouth. Right now, anything dead in you. Anything dead in you. Say, let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Whatever that is dead in me, in my prayer life, in my spiritual life, let me resurrect. Let me resurrect. Let me resurrect. Let me resurrect. Let the resurrection anointing possess me now. The resurrection power possess me now. The resurrection power possess me now. The resurrection power possess me now. As I open my mouth to pray, as I open my mouth to pray, let the resurrection fire. Ah! 
he surrendered everything, daddy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever that is there. Whatever that is dead in you. Whatever that is dead in you. Your prayer life that is dead. Your prayer life that is dead. Let it resurrect. Let it come back to life. Say let the power that resurrected Lazarus from death. Let that power resurrect. Everything dead in me. The resurrection power that resurrected our Lord Jesus Christ from the grave. Let that power resurrect anything dead in me. Anything dead in me. Anything dead in me. Anything dead in me. Let it resurrect anything dead in me. Dead in my prayer life. Dead in my journey with Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Today, I want to deliver a short message before we proceed with the prayers. The message the Lord laid on my heart tonight to deliver. That's a short message. We, we have only one hour to go. We have only one hour. Only one hour. Share the page. Share the page. As you have connected, share the page for me, please. Share the page. Wherever you are connecting from, please share the page for me. Share the page. Everybody share the page. Yeah, share the page. Share the page now. Share the page now. Share the page right now. Share it. Everybody share the page. Share the page right now. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it seven times. Share it eight times. Share it ten times. Whatever times the Lord lays on your heart, share the page right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word that the Lord laid on my heart is love. Today, the Lord God Almighty wants me to speak about love. I'm not talking about love of loving your fiancé, but loving your neighbor as yourself. The body of Christ lacked that spirit. That fruit of the spirit, love, is not there. Love is missing. Love is nowhere to be found. We have replaced hatred with love. We have replaced love with hatred. We have replaced love with envy. We have replaced love with jealousy. We have replaced love with backbiting. We don't have love. No support. What the apostles used to do, we can't do it. We are not even thinking of doing it. The help is not there. The support is not there. Hallelujah. Love. That is the message today. God said, I should speak to you about love. Love one another. When you love somebody, you treat the person well. When you love somebody, you will never hate the person. When you love somebody, you feel the pain of that person. We are supposed to act like twins. Though we will have misunderstanding, but let the love wins. When you meet twins, those that have given birth to twins, they will tell you, you see them fighting back and forth. You, the mother, try to beat one or try to stand at the, at the just, just fight for one. The other one will come and join this one and you'll be, a, you, at the end, you know that they love, their love is there. There is something that when you look at the life of twins, you can see. They will fight. They will do everything that ordinary people do. But you, the stranger, try to enter and dare to touch one. Either that you know that they are two. They are two, but they are one. When you touch A, you've touched B. When you touch B, you've touched C. I know twins. True story. Twins, the younger one got married and moved to a different city. And the elder, elder one, the senior, remained in where they, they used to stay. That was where she used to be with the husband. She saw in a dream. The younger sister's husband was maltreating her. Hey. The sister was being abused emotionally. She was crying. She was shedding tears. The one was on her bed. She saw it. She found the ways and means to relocate to where the sister was. Both of them ended up leaving their husband. Yes. Because she will never look for you to humiliate, for you to abuse. For you to make her bone to bone, her flesh to flesh, her blood 
to share tears while she enjoys in the palace. No way. All of us have to go back. If your husband is not going to treat you well, let us all go. Let's go and stay with me. She went and bring the twinning sister to her husband's house. And the husband can't differentiate them. You know the identical twins? It is difficult to, to di differentiate them. When the husband meets the small one, it is like his, uh, the, the wife. He cannot differentiate. He was ill confused. He said, I, I don't want to have any, any uh, 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 I, want, I don't want to do any abomination. And the elder one said, I will also not let my sister leave me. We are here, so if you don't want us, leave us to go. Like joke, like joke, these ladies move from their husband's house back to their father's compound. This is love. This is love. We don't have love. If we, we begin to bear the fruit of the spirit, there are so many things you will never do as a child of God. There are so many things that you are doing you will never do as a child of God. A wise man once said, treat people with love. Treat people with respect. He said the people that you meet them on the top when you are climbing, they are the same people you meet them at the down when you are coming down. Do you understand this parable? The people you meet on the top when you are going up, when you are climbing up, they are the same people you meet when you are climbing down. This parable is a deep parable. He said in life, when you start progressing, when you start progressing, when God starts lifting you, when God starts increasing you, when God starts blessing you, the people that you meet, that you despise, that you look upon them, that you maltreat, that you abuse, they are the same people that when you come down, you meet them. So treat people with love and care. The people that today, ladies and gentlemen, your husband has broke through financially. You don't want any of his cousins around him. You don't want any of his nieces around him. When your husband is broke, it is the same missus that will be there in the same family. The people that you are blessed and that you don't want to see their face. When you are broke, they are the same people you see their face. Treat people well. I have matured and learned from people's failure. And I have understood that when God bless you, don't eat it alone. Ladies and gentlemen, you that God has blessed you and your husband, open your palm. Open your palm. Yesterday, I was speaking to one of my mother, elder, sister's son. And he was telling me something. Say, Mommy, sister, do you know the reason why some of our uncles, now they are not receiving support? I said, why? He said, do you know? He's young, he's young, but he has been able to think about this. When they broke through financially, it was only them and their wife and their children. So now that they are down, they don't know who to call. They don't know who the best. They did not invest in anybody. If they invested in somebody, but now that they are down, that person will go to their aid. And it's a lesson that I learned yesterday, yesterday night after speaking to that, my brother. It's a lesson that I learned that when God begins to bless you, don't eat it alone. Open your hands. Invest. If you can enroll people in, in, in profession, do it. When you are broke, you go to them, they will remember you. Even if all of them forget you, there is one that God will lay you on his or her heart to care for you. Many of you, your mothers, when, they, when things were going on well for them, it was only you, your father, and your mother. Nobody else. They never knew anybody. Now you need helper. Who is coming to your aid? Who did your father invested? Who did your mother help? I will say, oh, once upon a time, there was this man that assisted me, paid my school fees. This is the kindness and love that I'm preaching to you about. There is this man that assisted me. Let me go and look for the whole about of this man. And maybe the person that you are paying, you are assisting, you are helping today in junior high school. The person you are assisting today, don't care about where they are today. 
because I have seen many men and many young women born with great destiny that were once house help in somebody's house. I have lived to meet many people born great that were once driver or a security man in one's lady's house. Now, the table have turned. God have changed their destiny. In Ghanaian language, there is a parable that we see, Obi nim obrempon ashase. Obi nim obrempon ashase. The destiny of a man lies in the hands of God. You may see the person as a shoe shine, a shoemaker today. Tomorrow you see him riding a car that you have no idea. You will see the person broke today. Tomorrow, God will remember that person. And the story and the destiny of that person will change. Because you were not there when they were in need, you can never be there when they break through. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Because you are not there when they are in need, you can never be there when, when God remembers them. They will not even accept you. They will not even accept you. So now that God has blessed you, now that you can care for people, do it. Now that you can assist people, do it. This is the kindness that we are preaching to you about. Writers, school owners, the children you are teaching today, do you know some of them is going to be your president in the near future? School owner, the child that you are busy abusing, beating him, beating her because the parent can afford to pay school fees. That they are pleading with you that give them some weeks, they will, they will settle it. You are abusing the child, you are beating the child. You don't know the destiny and the future of that child. Treat them well. Treat them well. Every position that God has praised you now, ladies and gentlemen, use that position to help people. Because nobody knows tomorrow. I've always been telling you about how destiny helpers. I've told you God is a principal God. Though. If you do not invest, you don't sow. If you don't sow, you don't reap. If you don't sow, you will never reap. Have you seen a, a lazy man that have wake up, sleep, eat and sleep and be, and be seated in one place and at the end go and reap plantain, go and reap cassava. Go. What did he sow? He never sowed anything. So he do not qualify to reap anything. If you begin to reap, you are a thief. You are a thief. Treat people well. Many of you that God have blessed you with a, 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 a how do you say, a, 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 a four by four car. That because of that car, you are disrespecting everybody around, especially my ladies. Ad advise yourself. Especially my ladies, when God bless you and you are able to afford to buy a car, you don't even have your own house, so just a car. You've been able to afford to buy BMW and because of that you are disrespecting everybody you meet on the ways of hawking. Sister, these people you are disrespecting. On your way up, you meet them when you come down. You meet them when you come down. When you are cramping down, they are the same people you meet. They are the same people you meet. Have a human heart. Walk with a human heart. Walk with a human heart. I know many ladies that when they started, they didn't get anybody to advise them. You know, there are some kinds of ladies, naturally, when a child even touches them, it's like the child looks so filthy. It doesn't matter how you have dressed your child. In the train, when your child mistakenly laid their hands on the touch their clothes, how they will misbehave as if the child is a trash in their 20s, in their 25, in their 26, in their 27, and in their 35, they'll be crying for the fruit of the womb. God will never give you. Mm -mm. That is the truth. God will never give you because children are angels. 
If you don't know how to handle an angel, a strange angel in your home, how do you welcome a, 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 an angel again? A child have come in your life. I've been preaching this message. I don't know why the Lord God Almighty keeps allowing me to repeat this message. That treat people well. Your husbands, brothers, children in your custody today. Your sisters, sisters, children around you today. Maybe tomorrow there are the people going to bath at your back. They are the people going to cover you when you are cold. They are the people going to feed you when you cannot walk, walk to go and feed. Treat them like human beings. Treat them as you treat your own children. How you are more treating them in your house, they will never forget to. How you are abusing them, they will never forget. Children will never forget. You serve your own children with a beautiful plate. And you put their food in a dirty bowl and put it on the ground, push it on the ground for them to go and pick it like a dog. They will never forget when they break through. They will never forget this thing when they break through and you are in need. You go to them, they will tell you, we do not have. You are not human being. When our mommy was not there, you were nowhere to be found. When our daddy was not there, you were nowhere to be found. Help them. Every day I've been sharing to you that my father's brothers, all of them are in UK. My grandmother's children. They, they, when, when the first one went, came, picked another mother's, one of the, like, every, every, this mother, they will pick one of your child. And that person will go and come and pick one of their mother's sisters, their child. When it got to my grandmother, that is my father's brethren. It, does, it didn't touch their hearts to help any of them. Do you know the reason why? The one that broke through financially, the one that God has said to go to UK first, he said when their mother died, they were young. That time my grandmother was having money. I saw my grandmother. She used to sell fish. She go and bring fish in packages. She, she used to have money. They said when my grandmother cooked and they are there, she would never give to them. So when they broke through, they never remembered my grandmother's children. That is my father's side. All of them are in Ghana. Only my father's brothers, that none of them went to UK. All the family, everybody is there. Everybody's child is there. Only my father's brethren, that none of them were picked. Because of my grandmother's weakness, wickedness, heartless, heartless. These things have been repeating, repeating, repeating. We have to preach to people about it. We have to speak to people about it. We have to draw people's attention to it. That the people that you are seeing them as gate men, a uh, house help, a uh, 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 cookers, a uh, uh, drivers, gate men in your home, they are the future leaders. They are your helpers tomorrow. The money you are using to change clothing, change shoes, change bags. The children are sleeping with empty stomach. Many of them have moved from the house to the streets because nobody is there for them. Nobody is ready to murder them. Though their mother is dead, their father is dead, nobody is ready to accept them as children, to nurture them. You don't know the destiny of these children that you are re 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 uh, rejecting. Let me speak the real truth. Some of us, our biological children will never prosper. It is adopted children or uh, uh, adopted or the orphans that we are with, they will prosper and break away for our children. Many of us, our biological daughters will never travel abroad. It is the ghost daughter that you are living with that will open the door and come for your daughter. Treat them well. Stop abusing them. Many of them, when you are with them and you don't, you don't have your own children, you treat them like an angel. As soon as you begin to have your own, you start despising them. You start making them feel that they are irrelevant in your life. 
Many of you, if you go to the extent of poisoning them, because you want to get rid of them. Many of you, you are living with your blood, your husband's brother's son. You are thinking of poisoning the child because you don't want to see the presence of that child in your home. You don't want to see the presence of that child in your home if you don't take care. God will grant that child, fatherless child, motherless child in your home. God will grant that child divine escape for you to poison your own child. You poison your own seed. You poison your own heart. If you don't change that wicked heart, that heart of beast in you, and carry the heart of human being. Many of you are pouring hot water on people's children. Their parents carry them. Their mother carry them nine months as you carried your daughter, as you carried your son nine months. Many of you are using hot irons, hot iron, to hurt them because you are not the one that carried them in your womb. You are not human being. You don't have a human heart. You are with a beast heart and you will never prosper in that way. God will never prosper you in that way except to change your heart. That is the rare truth. Change your heart. Change your heart. When we talk about repentance, it's accepting people. Abraham was able to live with multitude of people while he was, he didn't have any. The Bible said the day that Sodom and Gomorrah, the day that the men attacked Lot, Abraham took for men that had been nurtured and born in his house, 300 foot men, he took them to war. Yes, though, he had none. He never had a child, but he was a father of nations. How many of you are ready to say, I'm a father of nations? How many of you are ready to teach your children that in life, open your arm and embrace, embrace anybody you meet on your way? Whether the person smells good or whether the person stinks. Because nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Billionaires, millionaires, rich men, rich women, teach your children these common principles. Teach them these common norms. Because many of you, your children that ends up carrying a disease that, that have no cure in their 30s, in their 40s, it, 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 it's because of what they have been doing to people. How the words that comes out of their mouth. Because their, their father is the senate. Their father is the president. Their mother is social and so coordinator. Their mother is social and so consultant. Because of that position and that title that you hold, your children cannot humble themselves. It shall not be well with them. Teach them that God exalted. He lifted up the humbled and he humbled the proud. The one that is proud, God will bring them down. The one that is humbled, he that God will lift. You know many women that have lost a great opportunity because of their arrogance and their pride. Full of proud, so proud, disrespecting men, disrespecting men in their twenties, they'll be looking down upon every man that proposed to them. If a man proposed to you and you don't love him, do you have to insult him? No. If a man comes in your life, he came with a good intention, I want to be with you. If you don't love him, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not ready now. Simple. Some of them, when they speak, you can't even hear the words. When angels are even closer to them, they cannot hear the words that they are whispering through their nostrils. Because their father is worthy. Because their mother has money. No. Obra any wawabo. Life is when you you are able to achieve it by yourself. Life is when you are able to build it to stand by yourself. Not when your mother built, not when your father built. The empire that you are riding in, when your father is no more, nobody knows that whether it will stand or it will collapse. 
The canopy that you are under, nobody knows. When your father is not there or your mother is not there, nobody knows whether it will stand or it will collapse. Humble yourself and build your own empire. Build your own kingdom. Humble yourself. For pride will make you lose a lot on earth. And at the end, you will perish also. You will perish also. Kings and queens treat people well. Everybody around you from today smile from a pure heart. Don't smile in front of them and frown at the back of your head. Live with a pure heart. My heart desire is that God will bless me with a very big house. That I will go to the street and welcome every child that do not have a place to sleep. Come and sleep. Come and eat and go. In my heart desire is not to build a big auditorium, no. My vision is not to build a very big temple, no. My vision is to help millions of people on earth before I die. That is my mission. To touch lives before I die. That is why all the time you see me begging. I, I love begging and I'll continue to beg to help people. Recently, as I started begging, people have given us little. Today, Sunday, we were able to bless people with the little we were able to have. Treat people well. Treat people well today so that tomorrow they will bath your back. They will honor you. They will, they will call your name and they will stand. This woman, oh God bless her. Even in your grave, people will still be blessing you. Do you know that there are many people that are dead today that people are still cursing them? There are people there in their grave more than 10 years. People still mention their name in the family and curse them because of their wickedness, because of their evil hearts. There are many men in the family that live in the family because of their wickedness, evil heart, heartless. Be shelling to you. A man that married a lady, a single, a single mother, a single mother of four. When he met the lady, oh, I love you. I'm going to help you care for the children. As many men are moving with that sweet mouth. The lady accepted to be with this man. After having two kids, to make them six, the man prays, he said, I quote exactly as he said, if you want to cook and give your children meat in my house, use your money to buy your own meat. That means the children that are from different father, they are supposed to eat in that house but not to eat meat. If you give you rice, it is only rice. No meat. Whatever food we cook, we will give you, but you are not going to eat meat. So you grow and start giving, uh, bringing money home. This was the life that the children went through. The children managed to endure, endure, endure. And you know, God is the God of the, of the helpless. God is always there for those that have no body. God is always prepared to lift and to shelter the homeless. The hope for the hopeless. These children, now when you go to western region, I think, I, 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 that was where they used to be. Everybody has been talking about the wickedness of this man. Now these children have broken through financially. They've established a very big cement and iron rust company in Kumasi. The father is still in the village. Their mother is dead. When they broke through, they went and picked their old man from that man and they left the man in the village. And they also told the man, if you want to come to the city, use your own money, come and rent your house, come and pay your bills, come and enjoy, but not in our house. What you are doing today, I think I've repeated this message two times so. Tomorrow you reap it. So good. So that when it is time for you to reap, you reap with smile. You will never reap in regrets. 
Many of you, you have already done something that the payout receipt that you got, the receipt <laughs> you paid and they, they just tear it for you. You couldn't smile. She serve a lesson. Treat people well. Show kindness to people. Wherever you come across, even if the person is selling on the wayside and you can even afford to give water, stop your car and say, can I help you? I don't have much. This is 10, take it. God bless you. God bless you. It's better than thank you, baby. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. No. When somebody says, God bless you, based on a token, based on something that you have given to, Yesterday, one of our sisters in the U.S., she gave a very big barrel, and that barrel is full of small, small, young, young people's beautiful clothing. So I took it to the house of one woman. She is a widow of six. A widow of six. That the elder child is a girl. She never, you know, some of these, we that, that are poor, we that do not have, we that our children go and bring problems. The girl also went, get pregnant, never get a husband. So now they are seven. They are seven because one grandchild. I took all of them and I said, this is a package. This is a package from a stranger. She don't know you anywhere. But I beg and it touches her heart to bless you. This woman went down the knee and said, wherever she is, may God open the light. That he has never opened that light on every individual on earth. May God open such a light for that person. This is the first time I have heard such a blessing. And it has become my prayer point. Yes. He so said, may God open the light that when he throws on you, nobody can quench it. May God throw that light on that stranger that have come to our aid. And I said, Amen. Do you think these prayers, it will not work? It will work. Do you think this words, somebody can reverse it? No way. Because the person used kindness to receive it. There are so many blessings that you can receive through kindness that nobody will take that blessings from you. Nobody. And such blessings that you use kindness, you use charity to receive. Nobody, you know, when somebody curses you, that person will counter. It will counter and it will attack that curses and it will change it to blessing. May God Almighty touches your heart to be kind to people around you. Don't eat and throw food away. While the people around you, even when it is like this, when you give to them, they will take it. There are people that when you live with them, when you eat and even you want to Give them the uh, it is more and want to, they, they don't want it. Don't worry with yourself with such people, they don't need help. There are people that need help. There are people that they rely on on, 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 uh, on the dustbin, the, the food left in the dustbin to survive. These are the people that I'm talking to you to show kindness. In the year 2022, everybody practice kindness. Practice kindness to your sisters, to your brother's children, to your own children. Many of you, your own children sees you as a wicked mother, as a wicked father. Don't get that name because tomorrow is in the hands of only God. You don't know what will happen to you tomorrow. You don't know what will happen that you need the help of your own children. And your own children will tell you who is calling Say, it's your father. He say, I'm sorry, I don't have any father. That word alone will kill you on your sick bed. When you call your own biological children, your own biological son, that is riding in a very big car, a luxury car, living flashy and luxury lifestyle in the city. And you are in the village dying. You just need a thousand, one thousand to pay deposit to go through treatment in the hospital and you say you borrow somebody's phone and say please can you call my son for me and the person agrees and come and began to take your son's 
contact and call. The phone is on a loudspeaker. People have surrounded there. And he said, hello. And he said, hello, who is talking? It's your daddy. And the place is so silent. Because for the past 25 years, you've never taken phone to call that your son when things were well for you. For the past 26 years, for the past 15 years, for the past 10 years, you, you never thought of picking the phone to call that your son. Now you've heard that things are well with him. So hello, it's your daddy in the village. And the phone is on, on a loudspeaker. I say, who is my daddy? Oh, you don't know your daddy, Mr. Quamponten. Oh, Mr. Enoch. Oh, Mr. Justice. Oh, you don't know your daddy. I'm your biological father. Dad, that you're going to uh, read biography and autobiography. You're going to read all kinds of things. And your son will tell you, I'm sorry. I don't have any dad. You may think your son is a wicked son. No. It is what you sow that you are reaping. May God help you not to sow wickedness. May God help every soul on the altar of Gaga not to sow evil. May God help you not to sow evil in the heart of your children. May God help you not to sow evil in the heart of people that are destined to help you in the evening of your day. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Lord, help me to do good. Say, Father, help me to treat people well. Say, Lord, help me to show kindness to people around me. Help me to show kindness to them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. The word of God has come. You have received it. It is up to you to use it on every, each and every day. Remember this message. Each and every day, remember these ways. Remember in your house. Remember in your marriages. Remember in your working place. Because the, there are people that you are working with tomorrow, you see them in the palace. You get a case and you go and meet them there. Mm. There are people that you are working with in the same company. Tomorrow, God is going to leave them. You get a case in the court and you go and see them as the judge. Just imagine how many years he will give you. There are people that you are abusing today because you are the CEO, because you are manager. Tomorrow, you get a case and you go and meet them that they are lawyers, so, so, and so. What will you do? May God help you. May God help you. I want you to lift your hand and say, Lord God Almighty, today, help me to do what only you want. Help me to do what only you want. Help me, Lord. Hmm. Kerry said, people take advantage of me because I'm too good. Don't mind. All these people, you meet them one day. All those that are taking advantage of you. God will make you meet them tomorrow. All those that are abusing you today, some of them, you meet them before you die. You meet them. And when, no, when you are being abused, when people take you for granted, God always exalts. That is why he said, I will set the table in front of you in the presence of your enemies. That table, whether they like it or not, they will see you sitting on it. And they will be there to witness it. They will be there to watch it. Especially uncles, wives, and you, you people, the error on you is too much. Uncles, wives, hey! Mm. Your nieces and cousins, they are the people that will help you tomorrow. Any of you driving away your husband's nieces, your husband's cousins, they are trying to get closer. Some of them, when they call your husband, you take their phone and you brought their number and you delete it. Tomorrow, they will remind you everything. Many of you, they will call. Man, you are there. You tell your wife, tell them I'm not there. Tell them I'm not there. Hello, hello, yes, 
they're just my sister. It's my sister's daughter. Pick, 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 pick them. I'm out on a business trip. Keep going on a business trip. A day is coming. You will need your help. May God bless you. Our time is up. We need to pray 10 prayer points and we bring our message to an end because we have 10 minutes and our one hour is over. We have just 10 minutes and our one hour is over. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand and say, Father, I receive your fire. I receive your grace to do good. I receive your grace to do good. Father, I receive divine grace to treat people well. Fill me with your grace. Let me love. Let me love. Teach me the ways to love. Teach me the ways to live with people. Teach me the ways to treat people. Teach me the ways. Take away any bad thing that the devil has placed in me that makes me look down upon people. That makes me disrespect people. That makes me abuse people. That makes me hate people. Father, change my destiny. Remove that dark, darkness and that filthy garment from me. Take away that filthy garment that the devil has used to cover me. To destroy my destiny. To make me cry in the evening of my day. To make me suffer in the evening of my day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, as you have come to Gega, destroy every evil plans of the enemy against my destiny. Destroy every evil plans of the wicked ones against my life. Destroy every evil plans against my destiny, against my children's destiny, against my son's destiny, against my home. Every plans of the enemy. Say, Lord, scatter it. Say, Lord, scatter. Say, scatter. Say, scatter. Say, scatter. Say, scatter. Say, every witchcraft powers assigned against me, assigned against my anointing, or my glory, or my health, or my finances. Say, catch fire. Say, catch fire. Say, catch fire. Every witchcraft, witchcraft, assigned witchcraft powers divinations, spirit of divinations, witchcraft powers, magic powers, sorcery powers that have been assigned against me, assigned to fight me, assigned to block me, assigned to tear me this week, this month, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, catch fire. 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 fire. Every witchcraft power fighting your glory, Fighting your forward movement, fighting your peace, fighting your destiny, fighting your growing. Say, catch fire. 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 Lay Kabia de Macapaya Dosa. Lay Toropo Masun Tayama. So Procotol Yantar Mamacapa. So Rimacatayama Yantar Mamacapia. Say, every yoke of us today. Say every yoke of accident, every yoke of premature death, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Every yoke of accident, every yoke of premature death, every yoke of accident, yoke of premature death, be broken now, scatter now, scatter now, scatter now, scatter now. Open your mouth and pray. Every accident trap, every accident trap waiting to attack you, waiting to tear you, waiting to break you, waiting to stop you in this week, in this month. Say God fire. Say God fire. Say God fire. Say God fire. Let God be a day. Every conspiracy against us this week, against our children this week, every conspiracy against us this week, 
against our children, against our home, against our business, against our forward movement, against our finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken. Say be broken. Say be broken. Say be broken. Say be broken. Let it be broken. Evil conspiracies to devise our heads. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Evil plans. Evil plans. Scatter by fire. 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 Declare after me. Blood of Jesus. Declare blood of Jesus. Arise by fire. Pursue my pursuers. <laughs> Those pursue you in your dream. Those that you have you've been fighting for the past three days. Those that are fighting with you in your dream. They are the pursuers. Fire of God. Pursue my pursuers. Pursue my pursuers. Pursue those pursuing my children. Pursue those pursuing me. Pursue those pursuing my vision. Pursue those pursuing my dreams. Pursue those pursuing my career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus Christ. Arise. 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 Pursue all my pursuers. Pursue all my pursuers. Pursue all my pursuers. In the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. I precious appear gifted. Mention your name for me. I precious appear gifted. I stand as an altar. I stand as an altar. I bring all my children. Out of every altar. I precious appear gifted. I stand as an altar. I bring all my family out of every evil altar. I bring all my children out of every evil altar. I bring all my blessing out of every evil altar. Say, I, precious, appear gifted. I stand as an altar today. I scatter every altar fighting my family. I scatter every altar fighting my destiny. I command every altar to catch fire. I command every altar to be broken. I command every altar to scatter. I command every altar to scatter. I, precious, appear gifted. I arise. I take my place of authority. I take my place of authority. I command every obstacle in my way. Move by fire. I command every hindrance on my way. Move by fire. I command every obstacle in my way. Move by fire. Every obstacle waiting to tear you. Every obstacle waiting to bring tears in your eyes. Every obstacle waiting to destroy everything that you have used ages to gather. Select it, catch fire. Select it, catch fire. Select it, catch fire. Say, let it catch fire. Say, Lord God Almighty, wherever there is a gathering against me, wherever they've gathered against me, scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. Say, Lord God Almighty, wherever there is a gathering against me, wherever a group of people have gathered together against me, wherever they've gathered together against my family, scatter them by fire. Scatter them, Scatter them by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire. Wherever they've gathered, conspiring about you. Wherever they've gathered. Wherever the witches and wizards have gathered. Wherever the dogs have gathered. Wherever the lions have gathered. Wherever the, the, the cats have gathered. Scatter them. Scatter them. Scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. The word of God says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against powers, principalities. We wrestle against demons that are mightier and stronger. We wrestle against unseen spirits, unseen forces. 
Forces that are pierced and come and torment you. Forces that has been frustrating you on your bed. Forces that has been blessing your neck. Blessing your neck, trying to sophisticate you. Blessing you, trying to choke you while you are asleep. These are the unseen powers, unseen forces that we are dealing with. We are praying. Say, Lord God Almighty, every forces that has been attacking me in my dreams, Every forces that has been attacking, entering into my room and attacking me, attacking my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that forces be consumed. Let them be consumed. Let them be consumed. Let them be consumed, them be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Consumed by fire. Any force. Come out, or uh, 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 presenting itself in my life in the form of a nightmare. A nightmare in my dreams, a nightmare in my sleeps, a, a, a sleeping paralysis in my sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, let all these forces be arrested. Let them be arrested. Let them be arrested. Let them be arrested. Say so we command their arrest. Say so we declare their arrest in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you live. Say, Lord God Almighty, any power, any evil force working through my landlord, where you rent, keep telling you where you are living, play over the head of many of these landlords. Many of these landlords, where they have gone to dedicate or where they, they have gone to sacrifice their house. If you go and live there without being a prayerful, they can sacrifice you. Many of these tragedies that you hear, oh, a couple, a family of three, they are all burned into ashes. You dig to the under the ground and you discover that the place that they live, they even rent. What brought about that? What caused that? What caused that? I know many people that, that build, even they build their own house. They build it, not that they rent it. They build it. But at night, something will be tormenting them. Some of them, when they are in the kitchen, it's like something is moving things in their kitchen. They will look around, they will not see anything. Some of them, you see their, their, their stove on, off, on, off, on, off, when you are there alone. And you start screaming. People come, they don't see anything. But you don't have peace. It's like something is tormenting you in that place that you live. You, you sleep, you can't sleep at night. As soon as you want to lay your head, it's like something is tormenting you. Share the page for me, please. Share the page. Everybody share the page. Follow the page. Like the page. You click on the like button. You, you, you follow it and you share it. Yes, the foundation they build a house on. Many landlords, before they build a foundation, before they lay a foundation, they will go and slaughter animals. They will go and do all kinds of rituals under that, uh, 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 under that foundation. So it gives us, as it opens the door for evil spirits to come and frustrate and torment the life of people living in that house. Hallelujah. Yesterday there was a bad news on the media of Ghana. A teacher with a wife and five children, all of them have burned into ashes. In the apartment that they gave to them, nurses live on the first floor and the teachers are the ones occupying the second floor. Everybody with your apartment, like single, uh, so two bedroom self-contained, that is how they build that big uh, apartment. Seven people, all of them burned into ashes. When you, when you think about sad things, you can't think far. So none of them were able to escape. None of their children were able to escape. We are going to where we live. Every landlord that is planning to sacrifice you, every landlady that is planning to sacrifice your child, in the name of Jesus, let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Every landlord 
landlady that want to sacrifice you, that is planning evil concerning you, planning evil concerning your children, planning evil concerning your finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. We are going there again. Say, Lord God Almighty, any forces in the place where I live that is fighting my greatness, fighting my breakthrough, fighting my anointing, tearing my mantle into pieces, blocking me wherever I go, let it be broken by fire. Let it be burned into ashes. 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 Every power then, every force is there that is stopping me, that is blocking me, that is fighting my forward movement from where I live, from the environment I live, from the, 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 the house I live, the community, the province. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take dominion over them. I take authority over them. I take dominion over them. I take authority over over them and I command them be broken into pieces be broken into pieces be broken into pieces be broken into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ say any forces and powers there fighting against my finances in the place I live every power every evil forces that is fighting against my finances in my own house, in the community I live, in the province I live, in the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over them and I consume them by fire. I consume them by fire. Say, I take dominion over them. I take authority over them. That dog spot that is in the community, dog spot that is in that area that is preventing everybody from, from, from rising, from crossing, from 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 uh, 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 from uh, from moving forward in everything they do in that community, in the name of Jesus Christ, so we take authority over them. We take authority over them. We break free and we break through. We break free and we break through. We break free and we break through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray one prayer point. If you are a mother or you are not a mother, pray this prayer point for me. Today I saw a, a video, one of my sisters shared it in the UK. I saw a video and the video I couldn't watch more than five seconds. My heart was panting, my heart was bleeding. A young boy that had found himself in a bathroom in the midst of his colleagues in school. They just captured him in the bathroom and they were beating him back and forth. They were beating him back and forth. They say, somebody's child. Sometimes the devil, the, the witches and wizards that are, that are planning to destroy you, that have been targeting you and your children from day one, they can use your children's age mates. His classmates, her classmates, they will kidnap her, kidnap him in a secret place, beat him up. By the time you realize he's gone, they have destroyed, even if you put them in prison for life, they've destroyed some your blessing. We are praying to God Almighty. Any group of witches, evil children that are planning a mob attack on our children. Let God's tender strike them. Don't joke with this prayer. Any group of witch, witches, children that are possessed, evil children, that are planning to team up to beat your son to death, beat your daughter to death, may God Almighty arise, meet them on the way, strike them with tender. May God break them and strike them. May God paralyze them in the name of Jesus Christ. May this never be the portion of every mother. May our children's life be preserved in schools. May our son's life be preserved in schools. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God preserve our sons. May God preserve your daughters. May God preserve your sons. May God preserve your home. In the name of Jesus Christ. May your husband never fail. 
into such temptation that a group of people will gather together to beat him up to death. Recently, in Ghana, there is one man that repairs television. And according to the wife, they were in the house around 4 a.m. And one of the colleagues called him, Oh, I'm at the shop. Oh, I want to come for my television. Never knew it was a setup. They find the man dead early in the morning in a taxi. Around a taxi, taxi joint. They killed him, removed his crow. They didn't take any body part. They just took him, killed him, and burned him. Burned him into ashes. May this never be your portion, the year 2022. May evil not locate your dwelling in the name of Jesus. May evil no locate the dwelling of your children. I secure your outgoing and your incoming, the laying down and the rising up of you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God preserve you. May God preserve your outgoing and your incoming, your laying down and your rising up in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Take your water. Take your water as we pray over our water. But before we pray over the water, I want you to put a petition before God. I want you to put a hard desire before God. Whatever you are trusting God to receive, whatever you are trusting God to receive, I want you to use two minutes and say, Lord, this is what I need. Grant me. Father, open the way for me to get a job. Lord, open the way for me to get, to settle down. Father, lead me in this business that I am doing. Lord, anoint me and increase me in ministry. Father, open doors for me, doors that has been shut. Open your mouth and put your heart desire before God. Whatever you are trusting God to receive. Whatever that you want God to do for you in the year 2022. Ah, communicate with God. Open your mouth and speak to God. Whatever you are trusting God to receive. Whatever you are trusting God to receive, if it is financial breakthrough, open your mouth and declare, Lord, grant me financial breakthrough. If it is divine settlement, open your mouth and say, Lord, grant me divine settlement. If it is marital breakthrough, say, Lord, I declare I receive marital breakthrough. If it is the fruit of the womb, say, I receive double portion, double, double. I receive miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies, miracle babies. I receive, I receive, I receive miracle babies. Miracle babies, miracle babies. I receive financial breakthrough, financial assistance. Let doors open for me. Let doors open for me. Let doors that has been shut. Father, let doors open. Let doors open for me. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Hallelujah. Lift your water. Whatever you have spoken in the ears of God, may God grant you your heart desire. Whatever you have spoken to God, may it come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your water wherever you are. I'm very tired today. I'm very, very tired today. Because I'm still with the deliverance. I've not finished. I've not finished with the deliverance. Yes, I have not finished with the deliverance. Those that have done yours, those that have done yours, today I went and I did a package. Yes, to seal it, to gift people, to seal your prayers. I posted a video. I posted a video. I posted a video. Christmas is over, but we, we have not finished delivering our hampers. Anytime we can deliver hampers, anytime we can bless people, anytime God blesses us, we can bless people. Yes. Anytime God blesses us, we can bless people. So if you want to go, if you want to register for the deliverance, do it. I've told you, I've prayed for people free, but this deliverance, I want it to be effective. I want to sow. I want to give to people to seal it. I want to give to people to seal it. We want to bless people, touch lives, so that God will remember and it will be effective. Yes, it will be effective. That is why I said if you want that effective deliverance, you can register. It is not false. It is not everybody. It is those that are ready to receive, those that are ready to, to meet God, to lose them or to deliver them. It is not everybody, yes. So 
So if you want to register, you can register. You can register. You, you take the WhatsApp number, place your registration. I will, I will fix the date and time according to your, your, your location and the time that you and your family will be available if it is family deliverance. If you need family deliverance, the time that you and your family, all of you, will be available is the day that I will fix. It will, it will come from you yourself. If you want it tomorrow, it's going to be. If you want it on Monday, it is going to be. If you want it on your off day, so shall it be. Yes. And everything, every registration fee, it doesn't come to me. I've been telling you, if you want to buy data, use my PayPal. Every money that you, you pay on any of the foundation, it doesn't come to me. You used to buy things for people. You used to buy things for people. If you want to bless me, you want to give us data for the gospel, it is PayPal. If you put send wave, it will come. But let me know it is for data. Because I will call the foundation team and take it. For me, for my data, I will not give to them. Uh, if you, as soon as you tell me, mommy, this is data, even if it go there, I will call them and say, hey, my data have come there. I will not rob you. I will not also want you to rob me. So what is my deal? Give it to me. But tithes, offerings, and all this goes to our foundation. And that is what you see us. We use to package things for those in need. And if you are in the United States, you are in the UK, and you have things to give to the needy, please package it. If you have things, don't throw it away. People need it, and they will bless you. Those things that you call second-hand clothing, it is a new cloth to somebody. Those shoes that you call it second-hand shoes, it's a new shoe to somebody. The one that you call second-hand bag, it's a new dressing bag for somebody. Do not throw it away. Gather it, you connect you to door to door. Or you gather it, just go, go. When you go, go door to door from your end to Ghana, you get them online. Many of these door to door people, they are online. When you go, go, go to go, go. Just go, go door to door from Ghana, from Germany to Ghana, from UK. From, for UK, we, get, we have a partner there. United States of America, we have a partner there. We have door to door people. They are reliable. Our sister that we received today, it was from US. It was from US. She just prays it in, inside that paper, that paper barrel. It is so safe you receive it and we take it and go and distribute to people. So if you have goods, it is part of the kindness. Maybe you don't have money to donate. You don't have money to give. You can give in the form of staff, in the form of shoes that you don't like. When you go somewhere and there is good clothing, have time to pick it and package for them. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. And God Almighty will bless you. God will bless you. Lift your water. As I pray over your water, as I pray over your water, everybody lift a cup of water or a bottle of water. Lift a cup of water or a bottle of water. Everybody get it ready. Get it ready. A cup of water or a bottle of water as I pray for you. If you want to give us data, that is the PayPal link. If you want to give us data, that is the PayPal link. I'm very tired to do it. See, I cannot even move. It's not easy. I'm very, very tired. I'm very tired. Lift the water. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are about to live here, but we are not living your presence. This water in our hands, oh Lord, I turn it to be your blood and your fire. As this water enters us, Father, give us strength. As this water enters us, Lord, strengthen us in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal your people. As your people drink this water, any meat that they have chewed, any food that have gotten access to enter them, poison that have gotten access to enter them, any contaminated thing that have gotten access to enter them, as they drink this water, oh Lord, I pray you restore them. I pray you flush out every substances, every diabolic substance from their life, and you restore us as we sleep. Give us strength. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. Amen. Take your water. Share the page for me. Take your water for me. Drink it as we share the grace and go. Drink it and share the page. If you have not shared it, share the page for me. If you want to give us data, please use the PayPal link. When you click on the link, 
it will take you there. Whatever you want to give, let's give for data so that we can get data to operate every day. Though I'm tired, but I'm not tired of preaching. Mm -hmm. I am very tired, but I'm not tired of preaching. Yes, I'm very tired, but I am not tired for God. Yes. So please do well to share the page and also support the ministry. Whatever God lays on your heart to use to support, use the PayPal or use Wave. And when you send on the Wave, let us know it is for data. I will call them and I will get it. But if you can use PayPal, use the PayPal because that is what I use to buy my data nowadays. That is what I use to buy my data. So if you want to give an offering before we go, do it. And God Almighty will bless you. I cover you all. I soak you all in the blood of Jesus Christ. As you are moving from here, may the grace of God be with you. May favor speak for you where it is needed. May God make a way for you where there is no way. May he cause his face to shine. May he reveal himself to you in your dreams. May he visit your life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen. I bless all givers and all titles in this ministry. You will never labor in vain. You will never labor in vain. God will remember every generosity, every pain, every kindness that you are doing in, the, in this ministry around the world, the people around you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray hallelujah. Lift up your hand as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us for the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me God. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. If you need prayer, just send your message on WhatsApp. I'll call you and pray for you. Yeah, if you need to register for the deliverance also, do it and God Almighty will bless you. When you go to YouTube, do where to subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you come on Facebook, do where to share the page. If you have not followed the page, click on the, the, the follow button. Click on the follow icon and you like the video. When you like the video, it helps a lot. When you share the page, some people get to know us because our former page is not working. It has been blocked. It is locked. When you go live there, it does not even go. People don't see notification. That is the handwork of the devil, but they will never prevail. They will never prevail. I know at the right time, God will make all things possible. You make all things beautiful. Patience, as I've been always preaching to you, I also must practice that patience. So whatever it is, I'm waiting on the Lord at the right time. When God say I have uncovered you, nobody will say I have covered you, nobody. When God say I have exalted you, nobody can bring you down. So patience is the key. God bless you as you sleep. May God reveal himself to you. Love you all. You too again. God willing, tomorrow. Shalom.